Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Padres versus Pirates Major League Baseball matchup on Tuesday, July 25th, 2023. Here on YouTube, I do tons of free pick videos, so be sure to subscribe to our channel. We do free picks every day, sportschatplace.com, pickdogs.com, right here on YouTube, as well as across social media and our live shows. And when you give out that many free picks, you're bound to like some games more than others and to find out which games those are, as well as to get best bets from the world's best handicappers, head on over to our website, pickdogs.com, Click on the premium picks tab while you're there. Use the discount code PICK. You'll get 15% off your purchases of $19 or more, including our Christmas and July yearly packages, which are at their lowest pricing of the year. We also have our Pick Dogs Dime Club now. This is geared towards the people who asked for it. That's our large bankroll bettors. We've got a toll-free number on the website that you can call, a number you can text, talk to a live person, and see if the Dime Club is for you, especially football season on the way. But let's get to this one. It's the Padres taking on the Pirates. Blake Snell on the bump for the Pod for the Padres. And it is Rich Hill on the mound for the Pirates. And for Blake Snell, it has been a heck of a comeback season for him. He looked to be dead in the water in his career. And I think, you know, while I don't love starting pitching and just basing, you know, your picks based upon which pitcher is the best starter and how they're going to perform because that isn't how baseball games are won generally. Um, I do think, you know, we have to acknowledge the players that have, you know, had troubles. We've, we've certainly acknowledged their troubles. And I think when they bounce back like Snell has, I think you have to acknowledge them as well. We always call it as we see it. And that is, you know, part acknowledging both sides of it is part of that. So with Snell, congratulations. I mean, you've done an awesome job coming back um, from a position in your career where most people thought you were dead in the water. Meanwhile, Rich Hill for the for the Pirates continues to go on. He does what he does, and that's log innings. But the problem with Rich Hill and the innings that he's logging is he's been a lot less effective. Normally, you have a pitcher like Rich Hill, and every team has a guy like this. Um, and basically, he's there to just fill up space, maybe allow three runs over five or six innings you know, every five days and give everybody a little bit of a break, put the team in somewhat in position um, late in the ball game to win one, you know, against the other team's bullpen. But Snell has, uh, Hill hasn't been able to do that recently, and he's been hit a lot harder than what uh, you know what you would expect. Actually, normally a guy like Rich Hill around the trade deadline is kind of one of those minor little deals that you see where he gets you know shipped off to maybe a team that really just needs a pitcher that does that fills that kind of role for the player to be named later. And the thing is, is that you know I don't even think that they can get a player to be named later for Hill right now. The Padres really a horrible spot to be in. Ten games back in 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 their division, six games back and a million teams in front of them in the wild card. They are going nowhere this season. they got a monster payroll that they're going to unload because that's what they always do. Do they do it at the trade deadline or do they do it after the season? It really doesn't matter. I think the Padres win this game, but that's probably even worse for the organization. I'm going to take the Padres. And that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks today, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. Our betting tools are 100% free and the way they work, they show you just how often all the bets on the board today actually hit. Then they show you today's odds and from there, you can assess the risk reward, putting yourself on the bets that come in the most, pay the most. That's how you make money betting on sports.